think about it. Well, it's very difficult not to. Uh, look, dear, I'm trying to paint your mouth so it would help if you didn't move your lips. How can I talk without moving my lips? <laughs> you try not talking for a bit? Oh, very well. Oh, well, that looks a bit grim. Couldn't you manage a smile? What, like this? <laughs> not quite as much. As this? Yeah. Oh. You know, now that I'm studying you carefully, it's amazing how Emma takes after you. I've never lived in sin. <laughs> I'm talking about her face. I don't know what you've done to deserve a daughter like that. Look, she's a modern girl, Mother. Well, even in your day, people lived together. Not in my family. Well, there's always a first time. Anyway, they'll probably get married sooner or later. Ah, that reminds me. It's your wedding anniversary this weekend. Yes, I know. Are you celebrating? Well, William hasn't actually mentioned it yet. Ah, uh, I he's forgotten it then. No, no, he never has before. There's always a first time. <laughs> smile, Mother, smile. <laughs> That's right, now keep it like that for a bit. Well, gee, you just said you're done. Oh, that was good. Oh. Now, you said that without moving your lips. Oh, really? Yes, you missed your vacation. It could have been a ventriloquist. <laughs> Oh, evening, Nancy. How are you? Uh, no, don't talk to her, darling. Don't talk to her. No, I'm doing her mouth. That's all right, dear. I'm mastering the art of talking and smiling at the same time. That was very good. Yeah. Now try a bottle of beer. <laughs> a bottle of beer. Great. <laughs> Maybe we could get her a spot on television. <laughs> <laughs> Have we time for a drink before dinner? Oh, ages. Haven't started on it yet. Oh, great. What would you like, Nancy? Uh, a glass of sherry. Please. Glass of sherry? Yes, sir. Dry? Uh, dry, yes. Oh, because you did glass of dry sherry. <laughs> oh, I'm peckish. No, Art comes first. Didn't you have any lunch? Yes, I had a sandwich in the pub with Guy. I hope you made him pay for it. <sighs> now you've lost that serene smile, Mother. I can't hear about Guy and smile at the same time. Well, just try now. Pretend you're royalty. Oh, yes. Well... Uh, not the hand, Mother. <laughs> just the smile. Oh. Don't you want to know what he said? Well, I stopped being interested in what he said when he walked out on me 40 years ago. OK, forget it. What did he say? <laughs> he said he knows your views on marriage, so he's quite prepared to live with you. He's what? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get that smile back now. Well, William shouldn't bring home such ridiculous messages. Well, he'd tell you himself, but you always put the phone down on him. Can you blame me? <laughs> I would have thought that a little companionship would be nice when you're getting... Old? No, not old exactly. Older. I'm quite content, thank you. Hmm. Don't you ever get lonely in the granny house? Never. And kindly refer to it as the cottage. There's no need to call it a granny house until I am one. Well, you are. Oh, I am. You're very nearly a great-grandmother. Darling. <laughs> Darling. What did you say? Don't tell me Emma's got herself into trouble. No, Mother, no, no, no sort of trouble. No, no, she's just pregnant. <laughs> but she's not married. No, no. Oh, forgive my saying so, but that is quite definitely an owner's trouble. Louis, is there any Sonia? Talking of trouble. No, but we're in here. Oh, Hi. the back door was open, so I, uh... Hello, William. Hello. <laughs> oh, how are you, Mrs. Penrose? Stiff. No, don't talk to her, please. I'm trying to capture a smile. Oh, how's she coming along? Can I have a look? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, it's very good. <laughs> it reminds me of something. I can't think what. Whistler's mother? Not quite. <laughs> oh, I know. The Laughing Cavalier. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Makes you look quite cheerful for a change. What do you mean? I'm frequently cheerful. Oh, I'm sure you are, but I'm not around that often. If you're not, there's someone very like you. <laughs> Don't worry, William, I'm not stopping. I just wondered if you've got any sherry. Yes, thank you. Do you think I could have some? To drink here or take away? No, I need some for a trifle I'm making. How much do you want? Oh, a bottle will do. A whole bottle? <laughs> I want to add some to the soup as well. Plus the odd drink before dinner. Well, that sort of thing. Yeah. John forgotten to buy the booze again. Oh, yes, he's got a shocking memory. Like a sieve, leaves it all to me. You can get this in the shops now, you know. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is the dry one. You haven't got a medium, have you? <laughs> no. I... <laughs> Hester, will you stop doing that and come to bed? Oh, well, I'll keep fit, lady. Says it's very beneficial. Well, then do it in class, not here. Oh, don't you want a wife with a trim figure and in peak condition? 
Yes, I do. Right now. Come to bed. Thank you. That's all right. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely. Oh. That's more like it. What do you think's going to happen? <laughs> You ought to know by now. <laughs> You've been married to me for 23 years. No, I don't mean with us. Is there someone else? <laughs> no, Emma and Mother. Oh, Lord. I know you so lording. They're part of our lives. Not at 5 to 12, they're not. Oh, see, William, darling, you just, you just don't understand about women. Not the three I've got, no. <laughs> well, let me try and explain us to you, then. What now? Mm, it's very simple. It won't take a second. Go ahead. Uh, our daughter is having an illegitimate child, yeah? Right. So she's, you know, a little irrational at the moment. She doesn't fit into any logical pattern at present. Right. Then there's Nancy. Well, Guy waltzes off during the war and leaves her to bring me up on her own. So naturally, she's embittered towards men in general. Right. Mind you, I think they might have uh, split up even if there hadn't been a war. <laughs> there are hundreds of reasons why couples split up. Perhaps she tried to explain women to him late at night. <laughs> oh, all right, then. I won't even bother to tell you about no, me. No, no, go ahead. We've got till dawn. That's seven hours. I'm not that complicated. Oh, you want a bit? No. Even your explanations need explaining. Well, after all these years of bringing up a family, I suddenly discover that I have other talents that need developing. And, well, I just from now on intend to lead a more interesting and active life. Right. Let's get on to the active bit. <laughs> Emma. Emma. Oh, thank you, darling. Hi, love. Hi, Mark. Me. <laughs> Are you in bed? Yeah. With Dad? No, the milkman. <laughs> well, I just thought you'd both like to know that I've decided I probably will get married. Hooray! Oh, oh Emma, that's marvellous. I don't know when, but we'll let you know in plenty of time. Uh, now, look, is everything going all well with the baby? It seems to be. Yeah, you feeling fit? Mm, yes, great. Oh, Peter, stop it. Oh, I must ask. We, Peter wants to... We'll, <laughs> we want... Oh, bye. <laughs> Some people have all the luck. <laughs> oh. You happy now? Oh, very. You? Mm, quite mm. a relief. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just think, yesterday she was a schoolgirl, and soon she's going to be a wife with a baby. Mm. <laughs> soon there'll be an old married couple just like us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, heavens! What? <laughs> the wedding. What about it? Well, I don't have a thing to wear. <laughs> Um, by the way, I uh, saw the most wonderful outfit to be just ideal for the wedding. Did you buy it? Well, it wasn't exactly cheap, so uh, I haven't actually said yes, but she's putting it on one side, and I thought maybe you'd come and see it with me at the weekend. Oh, good. Give me time to get in touch with the building society and get a second mortgage. <laughs> Not that bad. You've got to push the boat out for a wedding. It's a pity you can't be like me, you know, and hire your gear from Moss Bros. <laughs> Look a bit odd, both of us in grey toppers. <laughs> they hire dresses, don't they? Oh, you've got no idea what's important to a woman, have you? I was joking. Anyway, you come with me on the weekend. Saturday. Saturday? Mm -hmm. Yes, as long as it's in the morning. No, no, I've got my fencing class in the morning. It have to be the afternoon. No, I'm sorry. No can do. I'm busy then. Well, if it's golf or fishing, you can change it. No, I can't. You'll have to change your class. Well, why should I? <laughs> Because we are going down to the coast on Saturday afternoon. Why? Because I say so, that's why. We could do it another weekend. All right. I'll celebrate our wedding anniversary with another woman. Oh, darling. Oh, I thought you'd forgotten. No. <laughs> I never have. No, I know. That's true. You've got a better memory than most husbands. <laughs> I've got a better secretary, too. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you old fraud. Where are we going? Now, you're ready for this. Yeah. Brookmill. Brookmill Hotel. <laughs> oh. Where I made my proposal, remember? Mm, yeah. And the next morning you asked me to marry you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to relive it all. Oh, yes. But don't forget, this time I'm an old married lady. Nonsense. You're as pretty now as you were 24 years ago. Oh, don't overdo it. Even prettier. <laughs> You've had too much wine. <laughs> Honestly, it's impossible to compliment some women. Oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> oh. Oh, <what? laughs> oh, 
<laughs> it's a gottle of gear, Nancy, with a laughing face. Come in, Mother! It's like living in a fishbowl. I'm so sorry to disturb you, dear. I didn't realise you'd be... Uh, Busy? <laughs> playing silly games. <laughs> Didn't Guy ever cuddle you in the kitchen? I'd like to have seen him try. Ah, oh, there's my telegraph. I want to finish the crossword. Oh, you fancy a night, Captain Nancy? No, thank you, dear. I'll be off. I must get my beauty sleep. Five or ten minutes won't make any difference. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I mean, whatever you do is beyond improvement. What? Because it's past improving. <laughs> I'll start again. Don't bother. Good night. <laughs> Bang goes another compliment. <laughs> well, what do you think? Oh, it's sweet. It's not exactly the rich, is it? <laughs> no, well, we say that for our 25th wedding. <laughs> do you think this is the room that we had? I don't know. Could be. I thought we had a double bed. No, two singles. Did we? Positive. Oh, must have cramped our style a bit. <laughs> it did, that's why we pushed them together. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. Yes, we did. And we got caught the next morning pulling them apart when the maid came in. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> and you told her that you'd lost some money and then you started scrabbling around on the floor for it. <laughs> <laughs> How can you recall a ridiculous incident like that? Be it was while you were on the floor that you proposed to me. You're making this up. No. <laughs> I kept rethinking how romantic it was having a man kneeling when proposing. Even though I was shifting furniture yeah. at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose you can also remember the colour of my pyjamas. I'll never forget them. Oh, oh, they're very touching. Red, orange and mauve stripes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sounds hideous. Yeah, it was. I almost went off the whole thing. <laughs> Just as well I took them off, then. <laughs> ah! I see your memory's coming back now. <laughs> I remember you hardly gave me time to take off my stockings. Don't worry, darling. You've got time to knit a pair tonight. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? That was over 20 years ago. We were kids then. Another 20 years, we'll, we'll be eligible for a granny house. Oh, you speak for yourself. No, no, what I mean is that life is not as long as you think it is. Nope. That's why I don't intend wasting a moment of it. I quite agree. Come on, give us a kiss. <laughs> Let's get up back. No, that's wasting time. Oh. Happy anniversary. And you? Mm. Oh! <laughs> Don't you usually knock? Oh, I'm ever so sorry. Really, I am. You see, I'm not used to this sort of thing. I am. Happens all the time. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's my first day here, so please don't report me. Oh. No, of course we won't. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Only I don't want to get the sack. It's ever so nice here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Very pretty, yeah. Have you been here before? Yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, we were here before we were married. <laughs> oh, it's really old, then. <laughs> Good evening. You have a table reserved? Uh, yes, fields for two. Fields? Ah, yes. This way, please. Ah. Thank you. Madame. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Will this be all right? Fine, fine. All right, you done? Yes, love. Oh, Thank you. You will have an aperitif? Darling? Uh, yes, um, dry sherry, please. Uh, and I'll have a scotch and water, please. Very good, monsieur. Mm. <laughs> Don't think it has changed much. No, not a lot. It's probably the same menu. <laughs> now, what are you going to have? Oh, well, I think a little fresh asparagus, mm -hmm. followed by some poached salmon. I think I'm going to plump for the duck à la ronge. <laughs> sure you can cope with two birds in one night? <laughs> Certainly. A duck and a goose. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Look! What? No, don't look! Don't look where? There, what? at the other table. It's John with another woman. John? John, Sonia's husband, John. My God, so it is. 
No wonder the swine can never afford sherry. <laughs> what are we going to say? We don't say anything. We just can't stay. What? Oh, no, darling, no, surely Darling, not. it's just not possible. <laughs> Imagine how awful it would be to live next to Sonia with this on our conscience. It's not too good now. <laughs> Your drinks, Mr. Field. Shh! Pardon? <laughs> We've changed our minds. You want something different to drink? No, no, we don't want any drink. No drink? No, or dinner. You mean you don't like the menu? No, 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 it's very, very nice. It's just, it's just that we've, uh, we've developed a sore throat. <laughs> Two sore throats? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to gargle. Of all the lousy, rotten luck. Oh, be fair, darling. It's even worse luck for Sonia. Frankly, I don't give a fig about Sonia. Oh, darling. Well, I don't. Well, supposing it had been the other way round. I mean, imagine if, if Sonia and John had seen you out falling with another woman. They'd feel sorry for me, wouldn't they? I don't know another woman. Well, that's not the point. Is there? No. I mean, the point is, how are we going to face Sonia? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. The point is, what are we going to do? Stay here or go somewhere else? Well, Got to pay for the room now. I might as well stay. And don't go downstairs again. We might bump into John, and yes. that could bust up their marriage. Well, it's not doing ours a power of good, is it? <laughs> Marvellous, isn't it? He's doing all the fooling around, and we're feeling all the guilt. <laughs> Let's phone down and order dinner to be sent up. Plus a large bottle of champagne. Oh, no, not too large. We'll get tiddly. Well, I'm feeling that might not be a bad idea. <laughs> uh, this is room six. I wonder, would it be possible for us to have our dinner in our room, please? I'm sorry, we don't serve meals in rooms. <laughs> You're not serious. We haven't got the stairs, but you can have the sandwiches. Hold on. You're not going to believe this. They only serve sandwiches in the room. Oh, no, it's not our night, is it? <laughs> would you send up a large plate of smoked salmon sandwiches, please? And a bottle of your best champagne. No, darling. What? I'll have one as well. Right. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> William, darling. Hmm? Come on, darling. Now, what? Seven o'clock. What on. about Come it? Come on, time to get up. Where the hell are we? <laughs> In the hotel. Oh. oh. Come on. Why do we have to get up so early? What? Because if we leave before 7.30, we stand less chance of running into John. It'd be the end of the world if we did. What about breakfast? Well, I rang down. But they didn't serve breakfast here. It's too early. Only tea. That John has got a lot to answer for. <laughs> if Sonia doesn't take him through the courts, I'm going to. On what grounds? Denial of conjugal rights. <laughs> was a bit like mountaineering. Oh. I'm not going to forget this 24th wedding anniversary. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah, that's about how I feel, too. No, that's <laughs> right. Oh, yes. That's it. Wait a minute. The telephone. Come on, Annie. Oh, good morning. Here's your tea. Thank you. Makes it more cosy when the beds are together, doesn't it? <laughs> I happen to be looking for some money I dropped. <laughs> Toast and freshly ground coffee. That'll do for an hors d'oeuvre. 
<laughs> then I'd like duck a la ronde. Oh, darling. You know, despite everything, I'm really glad we went back there. You're joking. No, I mean, I'm grateful to you for wanting to take me back. <laughs> you planned a lovely surprise. Yeah, we didn't know we were going to have an even bigger one. No. Who is it? It's only Sonia. <laughs> this is going to be jolly. Don't say a word. No? We saw nothing. We know nothing. Right. No, acts perfectly calmly right. and not a word about John. Right. Oh. <laughs> it's raining. Is it? Oh, well, no, 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 just a little bit. It'll soon clear up. How's John? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's fine. Oh, he's worn out, actually. I bet he is. <laughs> marvellous, marvellous. He's back home, then. I mean, he is He is back at home? Yes. Yes, yes. What, what can we do for you? Well, I'm, I'm just returning the sherry. I thought you might like it in time for lunch. Have it as a gift. Do. As a matter of fact, we haven't had breakfast. Would you like to join us? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're late. Yes, yes, well, as a matter of way, in fact, we've, we've been away for the night. We've only just got back. Oh, oh yes, I know. I tried to phone you. Did you? Yes, William took me away for a dirty... No, no not a dirty... No, 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 no. No, a, a very, very romantic yes. weekend, yes, to celebrate our anniversary. Uh, How uh, lovely. Yeah. Yes, it was miles from anywhere, and we didn't see a soul, did not we? Not a soul. No, <laughs> sounds ideal. Where was he? <laughs> oh, oh, down in the uh, New Forest yeah. somewhere. I can't even remember the name of the place now, can you? Brookmill. No, no. Darling, darling, no, 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 Brookmill. no, 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 Broken Hill. Oh, Broken, Broken, Broken Hill. Say, <laughs> if it was Brookmill, you'd have bumped into John. John. No, 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 no. no, no. His sister lives there. <laughs> His sister? Yeah, she's been going through a bit of a rough patch lately. So he went down to spend the evening with her. Didn't get back till two. <laughs> he said the food at the Brookmill Hotel is wonderful. <laughs> and the duck a la orange just melts in your mouth. Sonia. See you again soon. Nice of you to pop in. We have a little unfinished anniversary to celebrate. Hi, Sonia. Esther? Look, darling, we don't want to start our 25th year with a row, do we? I'll make us a wonderful breakfast. Forget the breakfast. Just put your coat on and get in the car. Oh, darling, not all the way back to Brookmill. To hell with Brookmill. We're having breakfast at the Ritz. Oh! <laughs>